right now, everyone in here, would you know who? Would you know who fucking uh, Sam Telfer, Samantha Gilson is? Or would you know who fucking Corey is, a.k.a. Yaba Butch, if it weren't for me? Just saying. Bruno, tell him. I say no Texas hold them either, okay? We're making jelly tonight, okay? You are. You are. Stop it. You didn't know that, your mama. Stop it. Okay, exactly. Everyone, check out Yo Mama. This is what I'm saying. You are a radio country fan. Anyone who says Dolly, their first song is not going to be 9 to 5, sweetheart. And they're talking hateful shit. AdSense, once you're done with that's what happened to me. Even with the AdSense, it didn't matter that I only had one strike on YouTube. You fuck with someone's AdSense, you're done. You're done. I just gave you guys the biggest word up. You didn't hear it from me. But at some point, not that I'm jealous or I'm mean or I'm envious or anything like that. It's just gone too far. When you start hurting people really bad, Samantha, Miss Dabbles herself, is talking about Gigi's mom who has dementia. What the fuck did that dementia lady say to you, you motherfucker? No, you want to go after Gigi, you go after Gigi. Why would you attack his parents? What the fuck did that bitch say to you? I'll wait. You're fucking disgusting, Sam Telfer, and so is French Fry Fatty, and you all have what's coming to you, and it's coming. And, uh, oh, Corey Ruth, hear the warning. Run, bitch, run. Or, or what? Are, are you going to be back on? Are, are you collecting welfare and all that right now? You're married in the Florida and I, oh, wait. You got too many haters right now. You guys rub me motherfucking wrong. I'm ready for it. There is no one who can take on a Sam Telfer or a fucking Corey Ruth like I can. Or Samantha Dow. You, you bitches got nerve out here. Enjoy. Quiet last. You know, I've seen a lot of things. I've stood up for her. But the fact that she does everything. And it's Samantha. When have you seen Yaba do this? When have you seen fucking Yaba behave like this before Samantha came into her life? Now we're doxing people. Now we're going after her. I didn't give a fuck about Gigi or a hussy or a motherfucker them both. You know what I'm saying? Why would you go after someone's mom with dementia? Why the fuck would you do that? Samantha, your own parents didn't want you. They put you up for adoption. Then your adopted parents didn't fucking want you. Oh, go talk to your dad and your brother down in Florida. But no, you weren't there talking to them. Oh, I got the lowdown. You want to fucking try me? So while you're out here making fun of people, let's talk about your adoption story. In French Fry Fatty, you want to talk about how Gigi's mom's trying to forget her because, or forget him because he's got dementia? How about Telfer's parents try to put her ass up for adoption? Fucking two weeks old, they knew she was a no-good motherfucker. They were like, bye. Adoption got caught up with a fucking lawyer that don't want nothing to do with her either. You both got fucking nerve. You want to be real mean? Hey, Yaba, your mom died on a fucking overdose trying to get you out of her because she cared so much about you, sweetheart. She chose the drugs over you and fucking died. Put that on your fucking mouth and swallow it just like your baby daddy did, bitch. Oh, wait, you're gonna come for me? I got a real fucking job. I pay my own fucking bills. I don't live on the fucking internet. Fuck you, fuck her, fuck all of you. This is what drew the line. When I seen them talking about dementia, do you know that's what killed my fucking grandpa? And I don't give a fuck who wants to make fun of me or my parents or whatever. The day my dad gets dementia, do you think I'm gonna expose him? Like he's gonna try to forget me? Your parents didn't want you within a week of fucking having you and you were up for adoption. Your fucking lawyer. Adopted daddy wants nothing to fucking do with you. None of that family. You have never been one of a day in your life, Samantha Dows. Now you are dragging Corey Ruth, who ain't got a pot to piss in, a mommy to cry to, a daddy to cry to, down with you. So once you take your channel down, and you know they're going to come for Corey's next, and then how's she going to take care of her kids? Because your near dwells are done drunk. They're collecting welfare now. They're 18 plus collecting their shit off their drug daddy, daddy and all that. But what is fucking Yaba going to do? Are you going to support? Are you going to provide? No, you're not. No, you're not, bitch. You're going to find the next fucking charity case to jump on. Just like you did the crippled dude and had a bunch of fucking kids with him. And now crying like a dude in a wheelchair beat your fat ass. Dude, he's a quarter of your size. Can't even get out of a wheelchair and you're a domestic violence sufferer. Shut the fuck up. You drug fucking fat ass addict. Biggest fucking con artist I've seen in a long time. 
Now you're taking down a woman with three kids with you. With three fucking kids. You don't give a fuck about your own kids. Why the fuck would you care about Yana's kids? Six months to a year. Miss fucking wonderful said it. The end. They are going to be so fucked soon. I don't care if it's a goddamn hussy. I can't stand that motherfucker. You know I can't stand a hussy or a rock. What does her, or Gigi, or, or um, Mickey, or a motherfucking Tigger, or a Winnie the Pooh, for that matter. What the fuck did their parents do to you? And to be as sick as make a fucking joke over dementia. What if someone knocked you in the motherfucking head and caused you dementia? And then you're in a fucking wheelchair like your ex-old man. You can't provide, and you're fucking retarded like everyone else you're making fun of. What's Butch gonna do? Will your ass to the fucking mission? Where are your kids at? They don't want nothing to do with you. You're asking, your, your best friend's going to fucking dog. And so is to someone on the internet. My God. Corey, get a fucking grip. Then you went and married the fat ass. Can't even show your own fucking body on the internet. Yeah, you make fun of Foodie Booty every day. Bitch, you were just as big as her. Prove me wrong. When I met you, I was shocked by how big you were. I was honest. I was At least I was live every day showing my face. I stood up. I was every bit of 420 pounds. When I seen your 350 pound ass and you were carrying 300 of it from the bottom left. Mother fuck me. How do you even get those legs spread open so Telfer can get her face in there? You guys ain't fucking. You ain't fucking. And if they're, Selfer's little head would have been popped off by now. Shit. Out here, got the nerve to make fun of people. Okay, make fun of people who come after you, but going after fucking people's moms who got dementia? What if someone beat your fucking fat ass into dementia? I can't believe you're still alive with the way you were rolling. Where's your baby daddy at? Why is he in a wheelchair? Hey, Corey, why is your old man dead? Dead. Fuck you. Fuck the retards you guys fuck with, the drug dealers and all that. Now you guys are two fat fucks together and making fun of another fat fuck and you're high on the hogs. Trust me, you pissed enough people off. I'm going to kick your ass right off that fucking hog. And what are you going to do to me? I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. You going to get me fired from Texas Roadhouse? Okay. At the end of the day, Telfer and Yaba, not only am I funnier than you, better looking than both of you, got more talent than you, I pay my own bills. I don't need a bit. I, I won't. Listen, just because I'm fat as fuck and no man doesn't, you, it doesn't want me, I'm not going to settle for a fat bitch who's going to be like, oh, I'll lick your fucking pussy and make you feel good. Get the fuck out of here. No man wants to fuck you so you both, uh, you find each other. No, that's not what happened. The biggest fucking con in the world, Sam Telfer, hold on, let me check my fries, took advantage of a white trash little whore from fucking one, two, three, kettle bottom road. Baby daddy gets killed under certain, uh, I mean, if that don't tell you what, how many of your baby daddies have been killed under, if that tells you what lifestyle they're from? Come on now. I don't think, it's not even that the fact that they're like, you know, they're trash. It's the fact, the heinous fucking things they're saying about other people. You can't even show your fucking self online, Yaba, Corey, motherfucking Ruth. Don't make me catch you at Walmart in Sellersburg. Oh, and Arabia? And tell her your kids ain't on your side like you think they are. When have I ever lied? You want proof? Yes. You married in Florida to a band because they're collecting welfare money, honey, especially fat ass Corey over those three kids and our baby daddy died and this is and I know he's a fucking druggie just like you are and everybody else or what? You died. Now you're collecting government benefits, but they knew if you were married, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went to Florida and did that. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sam, you don't work at no fucking dentist office. I double check, triple check. You haven't worked in a long fucking time. Corey? And you know you don't work. At least she's honest about it. Samantha, knock it off. Or I'm literally going to motherfuck you big time. And I'm going to tell you, it, it's been building up with me. And I'm not a big fan of Al. Like, okay, I don't hate Al. But the fact she went after Al in her teeth. You know I got issues with my teeth. Why are you making fun of Al? Al? Has kids in good condition. Um, has a successful channel without having to crutch on to somebody else. Oh, Al, you're so skinny. Didn't what the fuck? Kind of grossed me out, to be honest with you. Why would you talk about Al like that? Like, really, what the fuck does Al do? And then I'm going to tell you what put me over the line. This when I seen she was talking about. Do you know my grandfather died from dementia? My dad's probably going to get it too. So, you know, when she went after it and then French fry girl, and then I looked where it all started. And I'm just like, oh, really? Okay. Within a week, put your ass up for adoption. And then you took advantage of your adopted parents so bad. Your, your own biological parents knew they didn't want your ass within a week. Put your ass up for adoption. And then you took advantage of your adopted parents so bad that they really don't want anything to do with you. And do you want to challenge that? Because they will come up on panel. 
I talked to them a few years ago. I've talked to your, I've talked to your daddy many times. He don't want nothing to do with you. You didn't even see him when he was in Florida. You weren't invited to come to their house because they know how you are. They were scared you'd steal something. Am I lying or am I crying? You and new fatty wife aren't invited to your parents' house because they're scared you will steal something. Just like you stole the car in 17 and went on a rampage and didn't come back. Mm. I'm just saying, anyone on the internet who's making fun of someone, you got to realize where they come from, where their hurt comes from, and no one else is going to beat the hell out of Sam Telford like I can or Corey Roof. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Call my job? You've already tried to do that a million times and they told you, fuck off, fatties. Uh, what are you going to do? I work for one of the biggest unions in the state of Indiana. What are you going to do? Except for me, motherfucker, you don't get you evicted from your big ass house and all that. And uh, welfare, Sam, you and Ron are one and the same. Why don't you and Ron get together? In fact, you and Ron need to be together. And um, Roy Orbison and fucking Butch get together. And let's see how far these relationships go. One will be in the gutter, the other ones will be high in the succeeding. I'm telling you right now. Ron and Sam are one and the same. And these are the kind of people your fucking parents warn you about. <coughs> your parents, your friends, society. And Sam Telfer, if you want to argue me, then you get your big ass on this camera right now, or I will come to yours and I will give you more views than you've ever had. I don't need your views. I can pay my own rent. Hey, Telfer, I can pay my own rent and my own bills without suckering on to someone that I don't love. Bitch, you hate pussy. You like that big, you like that big black cock and shut up. You want one so far up in your ass right now. You are like spinning. You showed a picture of you on a good day. I'm dead about that. She ain't your color and she ain't got the same equipment that you need, tell her. Shut up. Some people are fat, some people are on She's fat and on Ask to the fucking mission. Where are your kids at? They don't want nothing to do with you. You're asking your, your best friend's going to fucking dog. And so it to someone on the internet. My God. Corey, get a fucking grip. Then you went and married the fat ass. Can't even show your own fucking body on the internet. Yeah, you make fun of foodie booty every day. Bitch, you are just as big as her. Prove me wrong. When I met you, I was shocked by how big you were. I was honest. I was at least I was live every day showing my face. I stood up. I was every bit of 420 pounds. When I seen your 350 pound ass and you were carrying 300 of it from the bottom of us, mother fuck me. How do you even get those legs spread open so Telfer can get her face in there? You guys ain't fucking. You ain't fucking. And if they're, if Selfer's little head would have been popped off by now. Shit. Out here got the nerve to make fun of people. Okay, make fun of people who come after you, but going after fucking people's moms. Who got dementia? What if someone beat your fucking fat ass into dementia? I can't believe you're still alive with the way you were rolling. Where's your baby daddy at? Why is he in a wheelchair? Hey, Corey, why is your old man dead? Dead. Fuck you. Fuck the retards you guys fuck with, the drug dealers and all that. Now you guys are two fat fucks together and making fun of another fat fuck and you're high on the hog? Trust me, you pissed enough people off. I'm going to kick your ass right off that fucking hog. And what are you going to do to me? I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. You gonna get me fired from Texas Roadhouse? Okay. At the end of the day, Telfer and Yada, not only am I funnier than you, better looking than both of you, got more talent than you, I pay my own bills. I don't need a bit. I, I won't, listen, just because I'm fat as fuck and no man doesn't, you, it doesn't want me, I'm not gonna settle for a fat bitch who's gonna be like, oh, I'll lick your fucking pussy and make you feel good. Get the fuck out of here. No man wants to fuck you so you both, uh, you find each other. No, that's not what happened. The biggest fucking con in the world Sam Telfer, hold on, let me check my fries. Took advantage of a white trash little horse from fucking one, two, three, kettle bottom road. Baby daddy gets killed under certain, uh, I mean, if that don't tell you what, how many of your baby daddies have been killed under, if that tells you what lifestyle they're from? Come on now. I don't think, it's not even that the fact that they're like, you know, they're trash. It's the fact, the heinous fucking things they're saying about other people. You can't even show your fucking self online, Yaba, Corey, motherfucking Ruth. Don't make me catch you at Walmart in Sellersburg. Oh, and Arabia? And Telford, your kids ain't on your side like you think they are. When have I ever lied? You want proof? Yes. You married in Florida to a band because they're collecting welfare money, honey, especially fat ass Corey, over those three kids and our baby daddy died and they're just, 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 and he's a fucking druggie, just like you are and everybody else or what, you died. Now you're collecting government benefits, but they knew if you were married, yeah, 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 so you went to Florida and did that. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sam, you don't work at no fucking dentist office. I double checked, triple checked. You haven't worked in a long fucking time. Corey, and you know you don't work, at least she's honest about it. Samantha, knock it off. 
or I'm literally going to motherfuck you big time. And I'm going to tell you, it, it's been building up with me. And I'm not a big fan of Al. I'm like, okay, I don't hate Al. But the fact she went after Al in her teeth, you know, I got issues with my teeth. Why are you making fun of Al? Al has kids in good condition. Um, has a successful channel without having to crutch on to somebody else. Oh, Al, you're so skinny. What the fuck? Kind of gross me out, to be honest with you. Why would you talk about Al like that? Like, really, what the fuck does Al do? And then I'm going to tell you what put me over the line is when I seen she was talking about, do you know my grandfather died from dementia? My dad's probably going to get it too. So, you know, when she went after it and then French fry girl, and then I looked where it all started. And I'm just like, oh, really? Okay. Samantha, your, your own biological parents knew they didn't want your ass within a week. Put your ass up for adoption. And then you took advantage of your adopted parents so bad that they really don't want anything to do with you. And do you want to challenge that? Because they will come up on panel. I talked to them a few years ago. I talked to your, I talked to your daddy. When I make my fillies, I don't put a lot of mayonnaise in here because it's already going to be a little bit greasy. But you want enough for flavor, you know? Sorry, people who pay their own bills and can't get, like, fat ass Yava to buy them a new thing of mayonnaise. This is what we do. We get that shit out of the box. Corey, Corey, Corey. I'm coming for you. You drink a lot? I mean, really. You know what I said? You didn't need a lot. Not like I give a fuck. It's a lot. I mean, I, I need a little advice from Fatty. She didn't give it to me. And that was fine. That was a couple months ago. But the way you are behaving? No, no, no. And rewriting history like Sam Telfer is the OG of the DC? No, bitch. That's my crown and you will not. I'm going to knock you down to size exactly for who the fuck you are. Both of you, Corey and Samantha. And French Fry Patty. And, you know, I kind of like that. What's her name? What's that one girl who exaggerates her accent? And the one who puts on the fake accent. What's her name? What's her name? You guys know who I'm talking about. She's got a big reaction to him. The one who fakes her accent and who, like, overdraws it. What's her name? God damn. It's true, Brandy. It's true. Thank you. For those of us who have been around and don't let me, I got the fucking videos. What's the one that overdraws her country accent and says y'alls and folks and hillbilly, um, anyways, her, that one. So they went after that older chick who, you know, she's got a little gig. Like, she, so what? She talks about people and she exaggerates her country accent. I mean, come on. How many of us know people from Tennessee that don't talk like that? For instance, Randy. Nobody talks like that. Like, I'm sorry. You're not even from Louisiana. I, I'd give you a pass if you're from Louisiana. But this girl, the one that puts on the fake accent. But man, Telford's even going after her. Why? I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on this. Oh, I got that. Look at this. You see how filling all I did was put mayonnaise on it and then a little bit of uh, peppers. They don't need much more mess, really don't. Because once we put the cheese on it, it's gonna be really, really rich. I did not want to buy any more cheese today because I already had pepper jacks and I'm on a budget. I'm saving for my teeth. Oh, and Samantha, can you give me and fucking Al and everyone at your fake job a discount? Bitch, you ain't working. Oh, don't get me started. You work at a dental office? Oh, you're a lying fucking fat shit. I look into that real fast. I even asked you about dentures and you didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. There was a reason. Sam swears she works in a good note, you Sam don't work. At all. Neither does Corey. All right, guys. I'm going to put this in for the oven just to toast them a bit. 
Rice will be done after this and we'll be ready to eat. I got some poppers. I just, I don't know. I have the grease going, so I thought I'd do some poppers. Hold on, let's see if anything else is in here. Let's fry real fast. It's not the healthiest meal, you know, but I never said that was. Oh, I got cheese sticks. We're going to do some mozzarella sticks, too. My mom loves these. My mom loves mozz sticks. She always has. And these are the Budweiser ones. They're better. And so... We're just having an extravaganza tonight. I have French fries. I didn't salt them or pepper them. I'm letting my parents do that. Uh, poppers and now mozzarella sticks. And I also have a few hush puppies that I'm going to fry up because I really like the hush puppies. Actually, you know what? I'm going to salt a little bit of rice. That's it. We got some mozzarella sticks. We'll take this. Not ready yet. I appreciate you. I really do. I just feel like at this point, people are getting bullied to fucking back by Yada and fucking their longtime supporters. Who would do that? I'm telling you, I like, don't get me wrong. Everyone hashtag Charlie Girl. I mean, I get mad at my supporters too, but I say something, but I would really kick them out of a live stream because they were in somebody else's stream. That's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like huge ad. There's a couple of them I was shocked at. How about um four wick candle? Are you kidding me? I got all the tea from Four Wick. Apparently, they tossed her to the side, too. Hell, you're not that important. None of them are. They just put the fat chick for a living, okay? Put that down to size. Do you care? When I walk into a room, or how about this? Anywhere. Do you give a fuck what size someone is? Do you look at them and be like, oh, they're older, or oh, they're fatter, or nothing? Who fucking thinks like that, man? These people will attack people on size, age, whatever it is. They come off either, they'll get you in their little click and whatever, make you feel real welcome and all that. They will turn on you in the fucking, the moment you don't like something. How many times have I not liked what you said, PDQ, but have I ever said, get the fuck out, leave me alone, you're done, you can't watch this person or that person? Oh, I seen the clip, huge ass. That was fucking, you have supported Sam a long fucking time. That is wild to me. Four with Candle was the other one that I was like, you're kidding me. Sam is ruining everything Yaba has built. The end. Goodbye. It's only going to be a matter of time, guys. It's not only going to be Sam's channel. They're going to get Yaba's. Sam's will be easy to get down. Because she ain't worth a fuck. She, I mean, her channel's not like four or five hundred people or even a thousand people. Who cares? You know, who cares? If you're making fun of someone, you're going to pull that no matter what. Be yourself, Sam. Do a little family vlog. Let's see how many views you get. You're not going to pull those. You're, you're just not that excited. So now you're taking advantage of someone way younger than you with children, by the way. But you don't care about your own children. So why would I think that you care about hers? Not only are you ruining your channel and your subscriber base, these people are now going over to Corey. And that's why I give a fuck. At the end of the day, I still give a little fuss about Corey. But she's so fucking dumbass retarded sometimes. She don't see what's in front of her. She's got mommy issues, just like I tried to tell her with Wendy. Now she's full. I'm going to tell you, this is going to end real fucking bad. I don't think Sam or Yada, I'm going to predict this. I give it within three to six months, Sam will be down. And within a month after that, Yada will be down. People are real. I even got an invite over that group where they're all matched flagging them. I didn't join or anything. I don't get to to join, but damn, when you get hated, that's what happened to me. They start coming together. You are fucked. So I'm calling it right now. Within three months, Sam's going to be down. Within a total of six months, they're both going to be down. And Foodie Booty's part of the group, too. Oh, she is playing. Yeah. Foodie Booty is the best troll of them all. You may not like her. You don't like what she does. So what? You got to respect the hustle. She set them up. Watch them fall down. My God. Worst part is, you can't even talk to fucking retard fucking Corey because she's so brainwashed by Sam. She won't hear nobody else. Even Randy, everybody's like, oh, fuck, here it goes. Because nobody really wants to see bad on, on Corey. Because deep down, she is a good person. Sam is not. And she's taking full advantage of this younger woman who's got three kids. Sam can't provide for herself. If you want to provide for Yaba, that's one thing. But you are living off of her. Did I see it? No, I didn't. 
I, I don't go to that side of town. Ned, and Ned was on a total different side of town than I do. Ned lives in Crawfordsville. I live in Indianapolis. Well, I live on the outskirts. I live um, about five minutes west of Indy. No, I don't see no Sands. I don't see no Corys. I don't see anyone from Indy because I live in like the heart. I live in Indianapolis, the west fucking side. If you had jabronis like fucking Sam Telfer down here, you already know. Pew pew in a minivan, that's every day. Another whore dead, another fat whore, another fucking drag queen. I mean, that's every day here in Indy. You behave like, you act like streets, you get treated like the streets. And that's exactly where Sam came from. That's why she needed to find refuge in southern Indiana because her ass in Gary and her ass here, she was unwelcome. She was kicked out of Elkhart with all her uprising to the judicial system that didn't go anywhere, by the way. Now, she had to get the fuck out of Dodge. They were going to throw her ass in jail. We're just being a problem, pretty much. I'm lying, I'm crying, look it up. All right, now we're gonna get my parents food out and serve them. I'm gonna give my mom most of the cheese sticks and I'm keeping the husk puppies and they can have most of the fries. Both of them will get two sandwiches each. I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna eat one tonight and the other one I'm gonna take to work tomorrow. These are our fillies. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then there's four. Well, I'd probably smash it in there if I wanted to. Yeah! So those are mine. I'm going to eat one tonight, and like I said, I'm going to take one to work tomorrow. This is for my mom. She likes mozzarella sticks a lot, so I'm going to give her four. My dad won't eat them. And she likes, they both like poppers, so I'm going to give them five of those, and I'll keep one. Actually, I'm going to give them Five mozzarella steak. I'll make thirty. God damn it. There's the fries. I didn't add salt. Don't blame me. Don't fucking judge me for not adding salt. My dad's trying to cut back on salt. So he can salt his own fries. I don't like french fries that much because I just don't. So I'm going to give you the majority. What I have left in here, I'm going to eat tonight. What I don't, like I said, I'm going to take work. This is my parents' plate. I'm going to go deliver it. I'll be back. You stay here and watch it. Oh, I'm torn. You got two cream cheese, one lemon. What do you think, Andy girl? Anna Nicole says, cream cheese. Or a tiebreaker. If you're earning money, how do you know how much I'm earning? What'd you do? Go and Google what the fuck I'm doing and all that. I'm not. You got to think. We got union dues that come out, plus insurance, plus taxes. I don't clear six grand a week, more like four grand, you know. But still, with all my debt, I'm in so much fucking debt. Give me like two months, and yeah, motherfuck everybody. I got this. What are you doing out there Googling my fucking job, you asshole? I don't make that. About three. Yeah. It doesn't, even though, like, say, I, it says that I make six grand, and that's every two weeks, by the way, not every week. If I make six grand a week, fuck. Are you kidding me? That's every two weeks. But you got to think of union dues, insurance, taxes, all that. So, and we get paid bi-weekly. Gotta remember, I'm picking up big ass transmissions and shit. This ain't for the week of heart. Like at first, I didn't think I'd make it past two weeks. Here I am. Almost in my 90 days gonna get hired on. We got so many, like when I see my check, damn near half of it's gone. I'm like, fuck. So realistically, yeah, maybe three grand a week, and then I get paid every bi-weekly, which when it's all said and done, it just depends 4500 maybe four grand it, it doesn't matter but still I'm so in debt i need every fucking dollar i can get quit googling my fucking job dude on the internet all yeah, right i made six grand a week that's in two weeks in two weeks i make about six grand but after it's all said i make i'm getting pulled out more taxes anything than i ever had before so when it boils down it's like like 3200 every two weeks and then everything else is taxes and all that shit, union dues, 
all this, that when I get signed on, yeah, I'll be making about six grand a week, a little less than six, about four a week. And I need fucking money, so leave me alone. Yeah, it's a big job. It's not a, it's not for the weak of heart. But dude, when I go in there, I fucking work. It's a hard job. It's a very hard fucking job. <laughs> Can't believe I'm even doing it, but yeah. And there's not very many females. Like even Kim will tell you, it's, there's not very many females. It's a big thing. Okay, I told you. So what? Cain and Abel? I, I, I ran it off. Yeah, what I could clear every paycheck. But you, I didn't mention what? Did I mention everything else that gets fucking taken out? Can it? You don't know. There's a few people who have seen my stubs. Till then, if you want to show your face and argue me on it, do you work where I work? I bet you don't. Hey, Shelly. Oh, Google will tell you exactly where I work because the haters already figured it out. Kane and Abel, are you that far behind? They've already called, confirmed. I'm not getting fired from this shop. They don't care. They call a fucking, she's racist. She's all that. They're like, who? Huh? Okay. Click. Texas Roadhouse. I work for them. Yeah. Who? Huh? I don't even work. Even, I don't even work under the same name you can fucking work under at Roadhouse. I had a beautiful name there. Well, I bet you do. Why are you worried about it though, Kane and Abel? How much you making? You making more than me? You wanna be my sugar daddy? You picking up fucking engines and welding fucking VPNs on them and shit and throwing them down the line? You got these kind of muscles? Are you making as much like if you don't why, why you bother? Why are you worried about how much I make? Who works in the union and doesn't make six figures a fucking year? If you don't, there's a fucking problem, even on the first tier. Are you kidding me? Nerve. When you start pulling out transmissions and welding on fucking VPNs and throwing them down the line with big burly men and everything else and watching cars, then, then you can tell me something about my paycheck. Until then, don't worry about it. Why, why are you so worried? Are you living in my house? Are you paying? Am I paying your bills? Am I married to you? Why are you taking inventory of my fucking money? Told you I'm working double time right now. So if I work that plus another job plus what I'm doing online, you do the fucking math. You think it's worth? Do you think I make less than Yava and Sam? Oh wait. You think I sit my fat ass on the internet and talk about fat people all day for three grand a month? Fuck you. I learned a long time ago that ain't gonna pay the fucking bill. Don't worry about it. I ain't asking you for money. But any any donations are very much appreciated. A good prove it then why are you bothered like and you don't make as much as i did then why are you bringing up dollar amounts and i do not believe you work a good job if you did you would not be bringing this up right now it's typical this ain't out of the norm most people make more than me sweetheart okay no one's called it no one you're right i'll quit lying now i'll tap out all right no one's called roadhouse stars coming in Kane and Abel, would you like to come up and go live with me? I'm saying, Kane, hey, would you like to come live with me? And I guess I can explain it to your fucking face. I think you forgot about the two years I fucked off and got myself in a lot of debt. Right? Here, here. Kane and Abel, here you go, sweetheart. Let's do this. Come and tell me about how much I make and how I should be able to afford. Am I asking anyone to donate to dentures? Bitch, I'm telling you I'm saving dentures. I'm saving for my own fucking. That's a new concept for you on here. Someone who's working and making money. Oh, stop. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not. That's why I'm gone all the time. Here you go. Here is. Would you like to come up and tell me more about that? How I'm not fucking doing that? I'd love to hear your reasoning. Or or what you got against me. This will be a good one. And then I got you. There you go. All right. Let's go face to face and tell me I'm a fucking liar. I've been waiting for this fucking day. Tell me I'm a liar. Stella, let him come up. By the way, hashtag Stella. I love you. You don't have to defend me. She's new. She works at my other, she works at my job. She's ready to defend me. You don't have to. Stella, this is a whole different way. This is full of fucking losers that don't have a job like this one. Look, I'm going to drop this link. They will never show up. Exactly, any girl. Show your face and show your receipts. And then can I show you mine? I'll wait. Wait for it, Stella. This is what I was telling you about at work. We get all the It keeps the show going, though. 
I'm embarrassed for you that you're not up here proving me wrong right now. I'm such a liar. I'm such a liar. Well, come and fucking prove me wrong, baby doll. I fucking want you to. I dare you to. I fucking dare you. To prove me wrong because you're a truth teller, right? Can and I'm not making this. I'm not working anywhere. And I'm just a bum. On come on, tell me all about it. And let's see your proof. But you come up here and show your face and try to call me out. I'll dox my fucking self. I'll show you my work uniform, my fucking pet check stubs. I goddamn dare you, bitch. Come up here and prove I'm a motherfucking liar. I'll wait. We'll wait. Stella, wait. Stella don't work there either, does she? She's not on tier three either, is she? Keeps the show going. And then he comes in with the cutthroat. I mean, a lot of people want to call me a liar, but I think most people know. Hey, like, if I was like, why, why am I not on like begging for fucking money and shit like that? Come on now. Why, why am I not here dropping my Why am I? Why is this the first time I've been live in a fucking month on here? Why? Why the fuck would I? Well, why don't you come tell the truth to my face then? All right, let's play your little game. Oh, you got the truth? Then why don't you come live and tell me the truth? I fucking dare you. I dare you, Kane and Abel. Are you scared to be embarrassed when I actually show the fucking truth? I mean, please, I don't care. Embarrass me. Embarrass yourself. Who cares about being embarrassed? We're on the internet. Do you, want, do you need another link? I will give you, I will literally give you a hundred fucking dollars, right? I will give you two hundred fucking dollars right now. To prove to me that I'm a lying motherfucker. 200, everyone, you hear this? Cain and Abel, come live and tell me I'm full of shit. I will give you $200 via PayPal, Cash App, whatever you need, Zelle, to prove I'm a motherfucking liar. $200. Cain, then why ain't you jumping on this right now? If, if I'm a liar, I'm willing to put two, you want 500 bucks? Let's do that. Let's trip $600 right now. And I got it, do you? Tell me I'm a fucking liar. Here you go. Here's your link. I ain't hurting right now. Are you? Here's your link. I'm gonna put it through stream yards. Six hundred fucking dollars to prove I'm a liar. I put it on everything I got right now. I'm gonna give this motherfucker. And if and if I'm and if I'm being truthful, you owe me six hundred dollars. There's your link. If if you prove me wrong. I'll give you 600. If I prove you wrong, I want you to give me 600. Let's gamble it. Hey, Angelina. Oh, yeah, she's important. She's not from here. I remember her too. When have you ever seen me willing to bet this kind of fucking money? I've got it in my bank account. Do you? 600 or nothing. Double or nothing. In fact, here, I'll even play your little game. If you prove me wrong, I'll give you fifteen hundred fucking dollars right now tonight, everyone. God is my witness. I will give this motherfucker fifteen hundred dollars cash. Zell, prove me wrong, double or nothing. I get three grand if I'm a liar, or if I'm lying. Well, come up here and I'll show you. You show me where I'm lying. I just fifteen hundred motherfucking dollars. Can you can you really pass that up? You're sitting here on a fake ass name, anyways. I will give you fifteen hundred if you prove me wrong. It's three grand. Fuck it, I'll give you three grand right now if you prove me wrong. Because you're a liar. You're out here. You are the only one out of everyone in real life and beyond. Who knows what the fuck I'm doing? You are the only one. So come and show. What the fuck you're talking? Back your ass up. Tell me I'm not slinging transmissions. Tell me I'm not slinging stakes. So when I show you uh, checks, that, I mean, three. You know what? At this point, prove that, you're, that I'm a liar. I'll give you three grand right now. Do I need to show you my bank account that I got it in there? And if I prove that you're a liar. You owe me three grand. Double or nothing, baby. 